This lesson is showing the equivalence between a parallelogram and a rectangle. And this is inset number five. Step one, we'll name the figures. This is a parallelogram. This is a rectangle. Step two, we'll show the equivalence between these figures sensorially. So the pieces of the rectangle fill the frame of the parallelogram. And that shows that they are equivalent sensorially. Step three, we'll name the lines in the figures. This is a parallelogram. This is its base. And to show the height of the parallelogram, we need to see a perpendicular line from the base to the opposite side. So either of those lines shows us the height of the parallelogram. This is a rectangle. This is its base. This is its height. Base of the parallelogram. Height of the parallelogram. Base of the rectangle. Height of the rectangle. And step four, we'll make a statement about their equivalence based on the lines in these figures. The base of the parallelogram is equal to the base of the rectangle. And the height of the parallelogram is equal to the height of the rectangle. Their base and their height are equal. We can also make a statement about the equivalence of the rectangle to the parallelogram. A, parallel, a rectangle is equivalent to a parallelogram when the base of the rectangle is equal to the base of the parallelogram and the height of the rectangle is equal to the height of the parallelogram. Once again, when students are have seen this presentation, they can trace the insets in their geometry notebooks, label the significant lines in each of the figures, and write a statement of equivalence from parallelogram to rectangle and then from rectangle to parallelogram. It's also important to note for this material that this parallelogram is also a rhombus, but for this lesson, we'll be referring to it as a parallelogram.